This is In My Kitchen, where we challenge chefs to cook a two-course meal for six guests in an ordinary London kitchen, using only the ingredients that are already there. First on the show is our Italian culinary master, Chef Joe. Hey, welcome. I'm, I'm glad you can make it along tonight. So this is my kitchen. Thank you very much. And I'm excited to see what you're preparing for us. Hopefully I'm going to prepare something good. All right, good luck. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, some spaghetti, different type of spaghetti. Chili, um, I'll never cook uh, with these kind of things because it's not my style of cooking. I always cook with fresh ingredients. The oven, clean. Okay. Almonds, those will be very good for the dessert. Tea and coffee, no Italian coffee, uh, which is not good. Some grana padano, okay, that's good, Italian cheese. We can always work with Italian cheese. We got some pasta, we got tomato sauce. Uh, but I don't really want to prepare a normal pasta with tomato because it's too easy. I bring my special ingredients and it is guanciale, which is the, the cheek of the pig. It's a very nice meat that is go very well with the, with the pasta in, a, in the Italian way. This is linguine, it's another type. The cecco and Napolina. No one of them are good because the good one is Barilla. So we try to do our best with this one. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't a good pasta, so we can throw it away. And for the dessert with the egg, almond, sugar, vanilla, honey, and lemon, I try to make um, a very famous um, dessert in Spain is called Tarta de Santiago and maybe it's gonna be the best option. Okay, so let's start to prepare this. Chef Joe gets stuck into blending the almonds. I'm proud I'm the first one using this blender, you know. Here's our first guest. Hi, Hi, welcome. Good evening. Come on in. Mm -hmm. Something for you. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. You want something smaller? Possibly. Mm, yeah. Chef Joe dusts the tray with flour and then adds some honey into the mix. Even if it's not in the original recipe of the Santiago tart, but it's my own version. It's not very good already. In a neat twist, he tops the cake with cornflakes. Uh, no, it's not working. No. Joe clearly needs my help. Hi, Hello. welcome. Hello. Giselle. Hello, nice to meet you. Come on in. In the carbonara pasta, it's very important to use a lot of cheese. So. Extra virgin olive oil. Good. Okay. Chef Joe seems to have brought along his own samurai knives. As we want to work with the color as well, I'm going to use just the side, not all the part, because I want to keep it green. And it's already enough. I don't need more. Good. See you. Good. Thanks for coming along. Thank you for the invitation. You're welcome. The difference between the normal carbonara that you can find here in London or everywhere is made with the bacon. Bacon, which is the, the belly of the pig. And what's the difference between this, the cheek of the pig, that you see, you still have the, the skin outside of the pig, and inside a little bit of meat and the, the grass, the, the fat, two types of fat. So basically, the difference between the, the carbonara with the pancetta, the carbonara with the, the guanciale, is that while you're cooking, if you're cooking with pancetta, pancetta have the, the same, it's all the same fat, doesn't, doesn't change. So while you're cooking, it's always still with the same taste. 
these, these two types of fat, the one close to the, to the skin outside is stronger, and the one inside is softer. So why, when you go to cook them, this will, will stay strong and, and crispy. This one is, is gonna be, a, it's gonna almost disappear and get inside all the flavor of, uh, of the carbonara pasta. So later, when we're gonna cook it, we will see that this part will stay, let's say, strong and become crispy, and this part is the softer one, it's gonna almost disappear. As I said before, you can see the one part, the strongest one, and the other one will almost disappear, you see. The guests are busy with their wine. Yeah. Very important when you cook pasta, all type of pasta, it to be cooked al dente, not too much. Otherwise, you won't be tasting the real taste of pasta. A little bit more. Let's see if the pasta is ready or not. minutes more. And this is how you elegantly dish pasta. I'm ready with the food, so if you want to sit down on the table, I'm ready. Ready. Yeah. I'm ready. 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 Thank you. Let me empty this and then top up. <laughs> sure. Spaghetti with carbonara. Carbonara is like a is the, was the people in Rome that used to do the, the charcoal, working making the charcoal, ah, was poor people, so they didn't have time to cook, so they used to do this the day before, and it's made with guanciale, guanciale is the cheek of the pig, no pancetta like they do in London or somewhere that is not Italy. It's supposed to be with the pecorino cheese, but of course I didn't find any pecorino cheese in right. your kitchen, <laughs> but it's okay, I get some other Italian cheese, like Gran Padano, and it's very good as well. So please enjoy. Thank you. Your version, uh, still the, the second the version of the carbonara, is made with uh, with these ingredients. So it's still an original carbonara, even for you. <laughs> really, a sign of the times, the anti-social. Yeah. Yeah. The bloggers, like, well, yeah. We've got a way to it. We've got to easy yeah. yeah, ignore the yeah, people yeah. sat around the table. Well, we yeah, yeah. I'm going to talk to my friends. Sorry, I didn't realize yeah. you guys oh, were uh, first <laughs> friends. Thank you. Oh, are you? Yeah. Did you want to actually? <laughs> yeah. That was great fun. Are yeah, we allowed to go? Chef Joe's back in the kitchen preparing dessert. With the strawberries and the cream, I could prepare some sort of cream that will go very well with the with our cake. That's it. So oh, beautiful. I'm, I'm impressed that all this stuff is in my kitchen. You have? Yeah, you have. No. Cheek. No, that was his magic ingredient. Mm. That's really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Very good. Why I make this? Because it goes very well with the carbonara. Carbonara is an easy plate. It's a very normal one, but tasty one. And it goes well with um, strawberry, vanilla, and yogurt cream. Well, I didn't know half that stuff was in my kitchen, so Chef Joe has done a fantastic job. Can't wait to see what happens next week. As long as you keep some recipe, some food easy, it's gonna be tasty, traditional, and very good. If you start changing or getting complicated, that's not gonna be as good as the easy one, as the real one.